Georgia Bulldogs didn't even score the point spread last week. They only put up 48 points. They were a 54.5 point favorite. Is that a problem? Red flag? No, not in this case. Let's not overthink it. Georgia was still dominant against Tennessee Tech. They were up 45 0 mid third quarter before they called off the dogs. No pun intended. They uh, Carson Beck, five touchdown passes, took the seat, let backed up, back up stock to get some action. And, hey, speaking of backup quarterbacks, Georgia's now facing a former backup in Kentucky's. Uh, well, maybe not starter. We'll have to see. He was benched early last week as he did not look good in that game against South Carolina. But, of course, uh, Vandergriff is a former five-star high school recruit, transferred over to Kentucky this year. And Brock Vandergriff or the Rutgers transfer, Winsad, is going to be the starter this week, and they're going to face a fierce Georgia Bulldog defense. How do we play this game? Is there money to be made? I think there is. I'm going to give you a free play in this game with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And we're breaking down your 7.30 Eastern Saturday night primetime national TV game on ABC National TV, Georgia, Kentucky. You know, DraftKings puts out an advanced line the week before in college football. Very few books do that. And last Wednesday, this line was going to be 18. When it opened for real on Sunday afternoon at Circa, DraftKings reposted some other books. It was around 22, 23, and it's now 24 across the board. So yes, that terrible showing by Kentucky against South Carolina at home last week and that awful quarterback performance did affect this number. It's moved it almost a touchdown higher. So some of the value has definitely gone with the side. Let's look at the total, though, in this game. It opened up where the look ahead was 46 and a half. It's sitting 45 now. So yes, a little bit lower because South Carolina did take care of Kentucky's offense rather easily. And by the way, keep in mind, the Gamecocks ranked only 90th in the nation last year in defense, giving up over 400 yards a game. So not a good sign that Kentucky struggled like that. And I mentioned the Georgia cr- uh, transfer um, Brock Vandergriff, who was the backup last year, he was only 3 for 10, benched early in the game, thrown for just 30 yards, 3 yards per pass attempt with an interception. Uh, they brought in the Rutgers transfer, Gavin Winsap, who wasn't much better, 3 for 7. Overall in the game, Kentucky was 6 for 17, passing less than 3 yards a pass. Hard to imagine with just one week to prepare for the best defense in the country. They're going to be any better here. So Georgia should be able to shut them down defensively. I think the under 45 is worth a look here. Uh, Kentucky team totals, they're not out yet as I do this video midweek, but I would expect that to be around 10 and a half. 10, obviously, a very key number. 11, a little bit, but a 10 and a half or higher. Uh, Kentucky team total probably worth a look to the under as well. Very difficult to see them moving the ball in this game, especially last year when they only averaged three yards per pass in that loss against Georgia, and the Bulldogs held uh, the Wildcats last year in that game um, to just 155 total offensive yards, and Kentucky's offense looked terrible last week in that 31-6 loss against South Carolina. Plus, Georgia knows the quarterback. He was there last year, so I think it's an interesting setup here. Hard to imagine Kentucky can move the ball in this game. Under 45 would be my recommendation between Georgia and Kentucky. Also take a look at that Kentucky team total under as well. That's your 7.30 Eastern national TV game Saturday night on ABC. Hey, let me know your thoughts on this game. What are you looking at? Side, total, what other games do you like in Saturday college football action for week three? And don't forget, if you want my top 25 video, it'll be posted later this week on Friday, an, anal- an analyzation of the biggest games on the board. You also get my 10,000 game simulates database. It takes several days to run it throughout the week for every game on the board. And I give you my simulated projection for all the top 25 matchups in that video. And it's free right here on Wager Talk TV. So, hey, do me a favor. Click a thumbs up like right now in this video. And also make sure you've clicked subscribe and consider hitting that bell as well so you know when my top 25 video goes live. And also my NFL Fade the Public video for week two this weekend is live here on Wager Talk TV. Hey, I know we're talking football, but let's not sleep on baseball. Every week I get on here doing football videos, I keep thinking, I keep saying, don't forget about baseball. I'm always thinking about baseball because it's been red hot. As I record this video midweek on a 26-6 and six winning run of my best bets for clients over the past month at wagertalk.com in Major League Baseball alone, I'm number one ranked. ATS units won the past two seasons in both college and pro football combined. So yeah, not a bad time to pick up a football package. And by the way, we have an instant discount this week. Just about $6.5 a day for a full month of college and pro football best bets on my page. No promo code needed. Just go right below the daily best bets, the daily free play, and you'll see that $199 30-day football special. But if you're serious about all sports, if you want baseball as well, basketball about a month and a half away, then consider an all sports all access And the best deal, of course, is the one-year pass, and it's even better when you save $800 instantly with promo code SM365. Had several of you take advantage of that last week, 
And those of you that missed out can still do so with promo code SM365, a full year, one act, one year all access, 365 day all sports for just $3 a day, about a dollar and a half per play with promo code SM365. Check out all those special promos. Check out my daily best bets, not only for baseball, but college and pro football as well. And also that daily free play on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut WT. Dot buzz slash SM. Follow me on X on Twitter and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some great free betting sports content coming up next.